The process for updating your avionics databases begins at your computer where new database information is downloaded and transferred onto the specifically formatted Garmin Supplemental Database Card. With electrical power to your Cirrus off, remove the Flight Data Logging SD card from the top slot of the MFD and replace it with the freshly updated Supplemental Data Card. Since there's a pretty good chance you've got a Flightstream 510 card installed in the bottom slot, and although there's nothing wrong with removing the Flightstream 510 card and conducting the update using that bottom slot, it's just not necessary because updates can also be completed using the top slot. And updating using the top slot means the more capable and arguably more valuable Flightstream 510 multimedia card remains happily in its home in the bottom slot. With the top card removed and the freshly updated SD card installed, power up the system to begin the database transfer. Acknowledge the startup screens and navigate to the database page on the MFD by turning the large FMS knob to select the AUX page group, then the small FMS knob to select the database page. From here, you can monitor the database transfer and sync status. If a database upload hangs up a little bit and doesn't start or continue to load, well then just activate the cursor, highlight the database transfer that's stuck, press Enter, then press the soft key aligned with Restart to go ahead and restart the upload. After you've verified the correct database cycle information is displayed, go ahead and acknowledge that you want the system to restart. A cyan double arrow indicates which databases will transfer from standby to active on the next power cycle. Now, if for some reason the restart key doesn't become active after the database transfer is complete, well, then you can always manually restart the displays by turning the BAT1 and 2 switches off, pausing for a brief moment, and then turning the power back on. Once your avionics are back up and running, Head back to the AUX database page and verify the database transfer was successful. On occasion, when updating the active database, you might find that the newly updated database you've uploaded transfers without argument into the standby database position, but then won't cycle or transfer into the active database position. This happens when the system isn't able to verify the current date and time which is confirmed using satellite information, say, for example, when you're doing an update in a hangar. But as soon as the date and time information is confirmed, the database will transfer. With the update and sync process complete, turn off electrical power so the SD card can be removed and the flight data logging card can then be replaced. And, and that's it. You're up to date and ready to roll.